Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media. Today we've got another installment of This Week in EDM where we go over songs that came out this week in EDM. As simple as that, the last seven days. And uh, we've got 27 songs, seven more than last week, 27 songs I wanted to talk about. And I'll give you a spoiler, no standout, uh, but yeah, no standouts this week, but we got five categories and uh, let's just hop into it. First category, trash, songs that I think are just really, really bad, regardless. Uh, first up, The Drop by Dimitri Vegas, David Guetta, Nicole Scherzinger, and Aztec. Uh, everyone's trying to imitate that really boring commercial house sound, and it's tiring. The song is only two minutes and one second and is produced by four people, and I do not understand. I, even though it's made for commercial success, I get it. It is just, it's horrendous. Uh, up next, uh, Palace by Nonsense. Uh, production is really bland and it felt really thrown together, like in a matter of hours, honestly. The synth was pretty weak and uh, I felt like this is trying to be like a revolution in trance. It like is, but isn't trance, but it feels like it's gonna be the new sound of trance. And I don't know, I just felt that this song was really lacking in a lot of different areas. Uh, and up next, we've got Forever With You by Slushy. Uh, this new track is like a hyper pop future based fusion. Uh, and when Slushy makes commercial music a little more like chip tuny, not quite chip tune, but like that really high stuff that he does apart from his other dubstep music, uh, I really don't like it. Uh, it's insanely short, the hits are blown out, uh, the mini -E melody section is weird, and it's just really not for me. And I don't think it's for you either, honestly. But uh, yeah, three songs in trash. Uh, as we move into the bad category, songs are a little bit better than trash. Uh, songs that, um, yeah, are, I think are just bad. But uh, again, remember, these are all just my opinions. Uh, we've got Spaghetti Dub by Automate. Um, a meme song on steroids pretty much is the best way to put this. Uh, it's abrasive, a little too much, uh, and actually uh, made my wife, I was playing it out loud, and she said, can you please turn that down or off? And I was like, oh, okay. Um, but, I mean, you be the judge. It's a meme song, so do you hate it for being a meme? Is it a meme? You be the judge. Uh, and then Life Like This by Timmy Trumpet. I pick on Timmy Trumpet quite a bit, honestly, and while this isn't great, it's at least a little more bearable than anything else he's really done. Uh, it's, yes, repetitive and dull, but uh, not as painful as some of his stuff in the past, so that's where it is. Uh, up next, sadly, uh, Ding Dong by Crankdat, uh, the new track from Monster Cat. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's a very serious beat with a not-so-serious vocal sample thrown on top. Uh, Production-wise, it's one of my least favorites from Crankdat in a long time, actually. Maybe even anything that he's done. Um, not enough of a prominent melody line for me. It just felt empty. And so, I don't know. I, I really didn't like it. I thought it was bad, but uh, I may get a lot of flack for this. But again, that's how opinions work. That's how it goes. As we move into the meh category, there's a lot this week. Uh, I mean, there's 27 songs and a lot of meh songs that uh, I maybe weren't for me for the most part, but uh, maybe you'll enjoy them a little bit more. Uh, like Before by Jaws and Abstract. Uh, very nostalgic uh, vocals with a kind of like laser synth. Uh, fairly different sound from these two from what I expected from a collaboration. And uh, honestly, it worked a little bit better than I expected it to be, but uh, it was quite repetitive. So that's uh, Like Before. So we move on to Six Days. On the Run in Bracket by Darren Styles and Code Black. Uh, I've never been a huge fan of hard styles, to take this with a grain of salt. Um, I just felt that it was, at first, bad. Uh, the vocals were very eh, and the hard style pumps were way too blown out for me. But uh, that second drop definitely saved the song for me. So uh, there we go. Up next, <laughs> Northern Lights by Sack Squatch. Uh, the almost like future bass kind of sound from Sasquatch is still labeled as electronic, but kind of future bassy. Uh, it's very easy to digest and uh, honestly feels like his most complete song in a long time. Uh, but uh, Sasquatch is a bit of a gimmick at this point and uh, I'm it's starting to wear off a bit for me. So that's uh, Northern Lights. Uh, speaking of Monster Cat, we've got So Far Away, Papa Khan, a uh, new EP just dropped on Monster Cat. I uh, haven't been a huge fan of what I've heard so far. I know Papa Khan is very divisive, and you either kind of love him or you hate him, but uh, this song was just kind of right down the middle for me. I didn't really feel one way or another, um, so I was actually kind of shocked that I was just like, meh, which is why it's in the meh. As we move on to Hydra by Delta Heavy, a very clear-cut drum and bass track. Uh, nothing too special here for me, honestly. If you love drum and bass, I think you might like this, but uh, kind of just kind of just there for me. Uh, and speaking of drum and bass, Polaris by Blank, the new uh, Aeon album. I think that's how you say it. Uh, pretty much more basic DNB. This one's liquid DNB compared to Hydra, which was more dance floor, but uh, just some more kind of basic DNB. So. 
Uh, Love Me, Hate Me by Kaizo featuring Dwayne and Cray. The new Breed album just came out from Kaizo. Uh, this track in particular has a very 2000s rock aesthetic to it, but uh, still feels like a mash of a lot of different genres. Uh, in the end, it really wasn't my style, so maybe you'll like that. But uh, this one, not so much me. I have to go listen to the rest of the album and see what I think. But uh, yeah, this one is okay. Uh, and then Techno by Drizo and Mysteria. Uh, as the name implies, it is a new techno collab between the two. Uh, a little more minimalistic, as techno normally is, uh, with its bass line and the brooding synths. But uh, in, the well, in the realm of techno, this one, uh, kind of basic, I think, so... As we move on to Patience by More Plastic and Vin Don. Uh, More Plastic has been label hop being like crazy the last uh, couple months. Uh, and this is his latest DNB track from NCS, No Copyright Sounds. Uh, Vin Don brings a very Jamaican take to what would have been a pretty cookie cutter DNB track, which a lot of cookie cutter DNB is this week for me. But um, so yeah, that, that feel gives a little more life, and uh, that's why it's higher up in the mad category. But. Up next, uh, Dope Hex by Gareth Emery. Uh, honestly, it's a very generic progressive house track that I was desperately trying to find something notable to talk about and really couldn't. So it's just a very, very generic is the best way to put it. So if you love progressive house, here you go. Up next, uh, Kemet, I think it's how you say it. it's Kemet, I'm not sure, by Dusty Cloud. Uh, clubhouse track with some kind of odd vocal samples. Uh, it's kind of fun, but also takes me out of the song, the samples. Uh, but uh, if I was in a club, I think I would really, really enjoy this. So it's uh, higher up on the list. Uh, just the setting that I was listening to it, not the same as being somewhere else, but that's that. Uh, and then On Hold by Tails, new single on Bitbird. Uh, pretty tame and uh, kind of a light future bass style track. Uh, didn't really hit as hard creatively compared to some of his other tracks. And so Tails has done some fantastic stuff in the past for me. And so, well, he's tamed back a little bit more. It's not so much for me, but it's higher up in the list because it's still Tails and I still enjoyed it. As we move on to Matangi by Memba and Slumberjack, a uh, fantastic blending of two styles. Both Memba and Slumberjack do this kind of tribal trap sound, I think is the best way to put it. Um, but in the end, this track was a little underwhelming, especially for two artists that I would say, but I would say would, is, are very creative. Uh, this one kind of just felt uh, a little dry, so still not bad. As we move into Lions by Coven, uh, very reminiscent of the very early days of Coven, uh, their early EPs like what, Reality Reach, um, Settle, all that kind of stuff. Reminds me more of that, more like of electronica feel or approach uh, with the brighter sounds and uh, heavier pads in the mix. Uh, my only gripe with the song is Katie's vocals aren't as forward in the mix as I would have liked. Her vocals are fantastic and I just wish they would have stood out a little bit more, but... As we move on to the good category, our last category for the week, uh, Bedroom Superstars by LeMater featuring Emily Adams. The deluxe sub-stellar album has just come out with one new song and three new remixes. Uh, it is a very classic LeMater sound with bright synths and a uh, very like, alto female voice to it. So uh, yeah, I also may be saying LeMater totally wrong, but that's just the way I say it because I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, up next is Escape the Subtronics Remix by uh, KX5 featuring uh, Hala. Uh, KX5 is Cascade and Dead Mouse. The two collaborate on the KX5 project. And uh, this Subtronics uh, Remix really added his kind of signature grime sound to a very consistent project already in the original Escape song. Uh, and um, yeah, it, Subtronics adds a, a really nice clean melody in the back half as well, taking away a little going less grimy and a little more melodic. And uh, I, I enjoyed it a lot more than I expected to. Up next, Chicago Loop by Wave Dash and James Ivey. A very energetic and genre-bending track with a lot of flair is the best way to put it. It's kind of all over the place in a good way, um, and that's kind of the best way to define Wave Dash, I think, honestly. So, uh, enjoyed that one. Uh, Echoes by Ace Aura and Nitrix. A solid collaboration between these two. A lot of collaborations this week. Um, lots of hits of other kind of sub-genres of dubstep all over the place. You got some color bass, rhythm, some melodic dub, some bro, some... It's kind of all over the place. Um, enjoyed the last drop a lot more than the first one and would have wished the last drop would have been a little bit more of the song, more of that style, but um, hey, still not bad. Uh, next up, we have A Second Wind by Mr. Fiji Ouija. Uh, just a pure atmospheric track, pretty much, from Fiji here. Uh, I'm a huge, huge Mr. Fiji Ouija fan, so I'm a huge stand for him. So this is a lot of bias in this, for sure. Uh, but I think it's one of his best of late. He's been releasing a lot of singles pretty much every week or every other week at this point. And uh, this is uh, one of my favorites, actually. It's pretty simple, but a uh, great atmospheric track. 
Uh, penultimate track of the week is See You Go by More Kismet featuring Courtney Page Nelson. Uh, the debut of 17-year-old producer uh, More Kismet with his Universe LP debut album, I should say. Uh, and this track was the one single I've heard of it so far, or at least I know there's other ones that got released beforehand, but uh, with the release of the album. Uh, vocals are really clean. It's got a kind of color base sound to it, uh, although ultimately it's a very genre fusion, fusion style of kind of everything all in once that's really electronic is just pretty much the best way to put it. Uh, unique track with some great quality sound design. So I'm very excited to get into that uh, LP this next week. And our best track of the week, my favorite track of the week, uh, is The Uprising by Reaper and Camarion. Uh, destructive DNB, hard hitting, grinding. Uh, could have had a bit of a meatier bass line in it for me. I think it might have gone to stand out if it, the bass line was a little bit more prominent in the mix. Um, but uh, I love this kind of destructive DNB from these two. Uh, Reaper hits, either hits or he doesn't for me, and this one I think hit pretty well. So uh, yeah, in a, in, in a week of a lot of pretty dull DNB, I would say this one stood out, and maybe that's why it's as high as it is. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below uh, of these songs of the week. Uh, did you like these songs? What was your favorite song of the week? Are there any songs I missed? Let me know in the comment section below. But with that, I've been Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.